Good morning. I am Kevin Price. Delighted to be with you. Going to spend some time talking to you about you and your business. And we have a lot to cover in today's program, so I think I'm going to jump right straight into it with Paul Carroll, phenomenal wealth management uh, thought leader. And I love what he does. I love what he brings to every program and uh, love efficient wealth management. I think your, your company is fascinating. I think your whole background and your unique background uh, is very interesting, Paul. Thanks for being with us today. Thank you, Kevin. Tell us a little bit more about efficient wealth management and then introduce us to your guest today. Sure. Efficient wealth management, of course, is a boutique wealth management practice based here in the Woodlands, Texas. What we do simply is working with a team of experts and using a consultative approach, we help our clients, Kevin, protect their wealth, mitigate their taxes, take care of their heirs, protect their assets from being unjustly taken. And, of course, we like to maximize the impact of charitable giving if that's important. Today, we're very excited to introduce Paul Sarver from First Bank. Very glad to have you on, Paul. We've got too many Pauls today, but we'll figure out how to navigate through it. Paul, kind of give us the elevator speech, if you will, about your bank. Absolutely. Good morning. Uh, thank you for having me on the show. Um, First Bank is a local community bank. We've been servicing Montgomery County and the uh, surrounding areas for about 30 years, and we've recently opened up our new location here in Creekside in the Woodlands. We're uh, extremely excited to be here. We opened up in March. Um, you know, being a community bank, we uh, we do a lot with this community, everything from uh, working with Montgomery County Food Bank and uh, Montgomery County uh, Fair and, and other things, and now we're expanding that relationship to the Woodlands, and we're excited about it. Very good. Your question, Paul Carroll? Creekside's fascinating. I know, um, Kevin, if you've had a chance to to visit the Woodlands lately, but that's all that's left. And they've put a, a area there that's going to be kind of like Market Street. Market Street's gorgeous. It's going to be the Market Street of the back side of the Woodlands. And their bank is actually located within walking distance of that area. I think that's correct, right, Paul? That's correct. We're right across the street from all the development. Uh, HEB is going in, as well as Market Street, and we've got Walgreens going in straight across the road from us, but uh, we were the first ones in, so uh, it's nice to have our neighbors here finally. So what what do you see as the primary growth driver in that area? You know, just the, uh, the economic development of the Woodlands is amazing right now. All the different companies that are coming, all the different companies that have committed, everyone from ExxonMobil to You know, now I'm here in Chevron and others that are committed to this area. Um, Even retailers want to be here. I mean, Costco is now opening up off 242, and uh, I just think it's a great time for this area, and the development is amazing. The the growth of the area is attracting people from all over the world. So, What would you say is uh, the the biggest changes, you know, from a challenges perspective that's coming with all this growth? Um. I think the biggest challenge for the Woodlands is dealing with um, the growth being so fast. The the infrastructure is not set up for it. Um, You're seeing traffic for the first time in the Woodlands, uh, and uh, people are just having to get used to that because it's going to take us two or three years to catch up with it. Yeah, no question about it. Paul Carroll? Yes, sir. Um, So that brings another question. ExxonMobil, of course, with that facility, is a huge impact driver. Um, is there a back way from Creekside to that facility, or do you have to go through the main woodlands to get to it? Um, no, you can actually go down Kirkendall and then uh, speed across 2920, but um, you know, until Kirkendall widens out a little bit more, and, you know, luckily in our area it's already two lanes, but north of us it, it transitions back to one. Um, so getting out to the uh, freeway and down to ExxonMobil that way is, uh, is not that difficult. Okay. Hey, so one of the other issues is, is Creekside in Montgomery County or is it in Harris County? And does it even make a difference? Creekside is on the other side of the bridge. So we're actually in Harris County. Um, and this is the first time that First Bank has expanded into Harris County. We, uh, we had to amend our charter to actually uh, grow in this segment. Um, and we are just trying to expand our, uh, our brand, our name, and and grow the bank in this area, and uh, it's it's a great opportunity for us, and we're excited. Yeah, that's fantastic. Uh, and uh, so, um, how old is your bank itself? The bank is thirty years old. Um, the main branch is up on one hundred and five in Conroe. Uh, the the bank used to be First Bank of Conroe, 
but as we expanded out of Montgomery County and in the Conroe area, we wanted to uh, to come up with a name that we thought fit a little bit more, especially with the Woodlands, and so we uh, shortened it just to First Bank. Yeah, very good. Uh, Paul Carroll? You know, what's interesting, Kevin, is um, I, a little fair disclosure here. We actually have an account with these guys. We love them. We've worked with small banks for years now. The big money center banks are not friendly for small businesses. And I'm assuming, based on the experience we've had, the First Bank is very much oriented to the development of small and growing businesses in the woodlands. Is that, is that your primary focus, Paul? That's absolutely correct. Uh, companies with $10 million in revenues or less are what we kind of target. It's, uh, it's our sweet spot. Um, you know, being a small bank, we're not set up to work with the, uh, the big companies of the world. Um, but anything below $10 million is is absolutely what we try to uh, work with, and uh, our customer service and, and everything that we provide to them is uh, far and away above anything that you would get from a large bank. Let me ask you, uh, because there's been an incredible number of merges that I'm sure are all a direct result of uh, the uh, Dodd-Frank bill. I'm, I'm sure that that, the, that was behind it, uh, the consolidation of, of small banks into bigger banks. How have you guys fared with that? You know, we, if you look at our growth over the last 30 years, and that's a great question, Kevin, we have produced uh, about a 10% to 12% return on our investment year over year. Uh, we are family owned and operated, and as long as our investors are happy with that return every year, and, and I can sure, assure you they are, uh, we'll be around for a long time, for at least another 30 or 40 years. Let me get your website, by the way, for the listeners. It is fboc.com. FBOC.com. Very yes, good. Sir. Paul, we got about a minute left. Why don't you wrap it up for us? It's been a fascinating time for business dealing with banks. We, and as our small business has grown at 30, 40% a year for the last few years, have encountered very negative experiences with the large money center banks, the New York bank names. I don't want to upset people by naming them. We all know who they are. But our experience with First Bank and our clients' experience with not only First Bank, but some of the other small regional banks has really raised the bar in terms of do you really have a need or want to work with these large banks when you can get so much more from the local money, from the local, uh, local banks? Gentlemen, thanks to both of you. Enjoyed it very much. Great conversation. Uh, and that's FBOC.com. Meanwhile, Paul Carroll, you can find him over at EfficientWealthManagement.com. Thanks to both of you, gentlemen. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you, Kevin. When we come back, much more for you. I do want to remind you, best content here can be found over there at USDataReview.com. And this is The Price of Business. 